Hello, I'm Patrick from 3D Mondaus. Welcome back to our channel. For today, I want to show you how to use the Draw Curve tool in Blender. You have an example on screen right now. It's a funny animal I've made using this Draw Curve tool. So we will do one more using a new scene. So I go there in File, New, General, I will get rid of the cube, I don't need it today. I will add a curve and I will show you something. If I go there, curve, I have many curves I can use and the draw curve is, is in gray, so I can't use it. As you can see, I'm clicking on it and it's, it's useless right now. It's because I'm in object mode. So in order to use this tool, the Draw Curve tool, you have to select a curve in your 3D uh, view. It's uh, the gray part, the big one you have here. And then you switch to the Edit mode. And now, as you can see, I have access to the Draw Curve. Okay, so for the, the example we will do now, I will delete the first curve, I don't need it. I will show you how to create something simpler than the first model I just show you. I just have to go there and it's instead of drawing in 3D, I will draw in 2D. As you will see, I can get some thickness too, but it will be easier as every curve I will draw will be flat following the, the X and Y axis. It will not go following the Z axis at all. So I will add a draw curve. As you can see, my cursor has changed. And now I can draw anything. For example, I can grow a circle like that. It's supposed to be a circle. I will add another one here, big eyes, I will add another one, here, another one, here for the nose, and I will add a big smile, because it's nice, <laughs> okay? Right now it's only curved, so it's nice, but not as funny as it could be. I go back to the object mode and I will do something to make it more appealing. I will add a circle, but this one is too big, so I will decrease this side. Uh, you can press the S key or you can ch change the radius of the circle directly here. And uh, I will show you both. So for example, here I can do that, 0 0.1. Now it's a really, really tiny circle you have here or I could have done with S and then I move my cursor and the result is the same. I can increase or decrease the, the size of my circle. Why I've done that, I grab it, put it on the side. I will show you right now. I right click on my first curve. I go there, hit the properties panel and you have a bevel section here, and if you select as object, as bevel object, your Bezier circle, which is a small circle here, and you select fill caps, you get that. Quite funny, no? And quite simple too. So right now, if you want to add some details, for example, it's Quite simple, you go back again to edit mode, add, draw curve, and for example, if you want to add some big ears to our nice character, as you can see, you directly have the, the kind of tube that follow the curve. So you don't have to to go there anymore. And as you can see, we have something between a human and a monkey. <laughs> it's up to you to choose. 
and I go back here and if you want to 3D print it you just have to export it in OBG or in STL and uh, you will be able to print it if you print it like that of course eyes, nose and mouth will be three parts because it's not linked to the main part which is the face of the the monkey we would say because we are in blender and as you know the, the mascot in blender is a monkey but if you want to make everything on the same print as one part in fact that's what i wanted to say it's easy you just have to add a mesh for example a plane you increase the size of your plane I will go in top view, you grab it, make it like that, for example. As it is completely flat, as you can see, we will give some thickness to this flat surface. We go to edit mode. You press E for extrude, you go down a little bit. Now you don't see the bottom of the face. You go back here and now you can print this face on the flat surface here and everything will stay at the right place because it will not be a loose part here. Uh, so that was for the example. So I wish you will have lots of fun with the draw curve tool. It's a great tool, I think. And if you have kids, Please show them this tool. Your kids will love it. They, they will they will have lots of fun with it. And next time, because I will do another video, of course, I will do another optical illusion. It will be the optical illusion part two, in order to show you that with Blender or any 3D modeling software, but it will be in, in Blender, I will show you how to trick again your brain like the last time. If you remember the optical illusion part one, I will create a new one. In fact, it's already done, but I, I will uh, I will show it uh, ne next time. I will publish a video for you, and don't forget to subscribe. You will receive a notice about a new video about optical illusion part two. And if you like this video, like it. And next time, I will show you more funny things. See you, my friends. Bye bye.